Idaho joining 46 states across the country in celebrating Digital Learning Day. State education leaders say digital learning is a huge part of the 21st century classroom. The idea is to highlight the innovative teaching taking place in some Idaho classrooms. Eyewitness News reporter Stephanie Hale Lopez joining us now live in the studio. Stephanie, you visited Mountain Valley Elementary School earlier today. How are the students there using technology? Well, Jamie, it's really neat, actually. A group of second graders are writing, shooting, and putting together music videos pertaining to math lessons that they learn in the classroom. From there, they upload it to YouTube with the hopes that other people might learn a thing or two from watching their videos. Mrs. Duckwall's class isn't just full of seven and eight year olds, it's full of YouTube stars. Their 66 videos on the popular video site have more than 30,000 views. It seemed like a match to have them do something, you know, exciting to actually teach other children around the globe about math. Whenever the kids learn something new in math, they put together a video. They do all the writing, editing, and producing themselves. They storyboard it out, and they draw pictures of themselves, and they dialogue it out, and they practice it, and they try to figure out what, which would be the best way to teach other children. The kids say a video takes about a week to film, and the whole class has to chip in. The group's video on geometry is one of their most popular, with close to 8,000 views. I was doing the wrapping sometimes and showing, all, showing the shapes. Duckwall says technology in the classroom isn't just limited to one device. Her students use apps, texting, even Google Earth in their studies. Technology does not mean computers in the classroom, which is what it's always pretty much been. Here are your computers, here's your classroom, and, and that's not really what technology is. I think that they would know geometry better, and it would be easier for them to do geometry, because it's a fun way to learn. Now, Mrs. Duckwall says after incorporating the digital technology in her classroom, the average math score in her second grade class puts her students at a fifth grade or sixth grade competency. Live in the studio, I'm Stephanie Hill Lopez. Jamie. Those kids got a little bit of swagger there. Thank you, Stephanie. All right, if you want to watch the entire geometry, geometry wrap and all the other videos that the students made, you can visit our website, kidk.com.